This is Matthew Christian here with your weekly PD politics update. First, let me apologize to you guys for not being able to do a video for the last couple of weeks um, with the holiday and New Year's, and it's been a busy time of the year, so I do apologize for that. Hopefully, I'll be able to uh, do these more regularly now. Uh, now, let's get on to the update. First, Florence County Progress says there's been nearly $100 million invested in the county last year. Second, Florence Darlington Tech President Jermaine Ford said the college will be expanding its dual enrollment programs. Third, there's a new Florence County Legislative Delegation Subcommittee geared toward economic development. Fourth, Florence has a mask mandate. Fifth, Willard Doherty, Florence County Council Chairman, says the county will not have a mask mandate. Sixth, Timminsville High School and Johnson Middle School will no longer exist at the end of this school year. Those students will have the choice of attending um, Florence One schools, whatever Florence One school they want to attend. Um, also, speaking of consolidation, C.E. Murray High School will consolidate into King Street High School at the end of the year. Seventh, Lindsey Graham says that Mitch McConnell needs to have a working relationship with Donald Trump. And eighth, Tom Rice introduced a bill to increase pay for rural police officers. And with that, I hope you guys have a good day, a good weekend, and a good start to your week next week.